Akira Jaffe. I have in my hand a match box. Suppose I take a matchstick from this box and rub it against the edge. What's going to happen? It will catch fire and burn out. What if I tell you that we, like this matchstick, are this close to getting burnt out? I'm sure you've all heard of the phrase burnout, but what exactly does it mean? Is it affecting us? And most importantly, what can we do to cope with it? Good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow members, and guests. Good evening. Occupational or job burnout is a state of mental, emotional, and physical exhaustion caused by prolonged or excessive stress. Some of its many symptoms include exhaustion, lack of enthusiasm and motivation, feeling drained, and in some cases, negative emotions such as frustration and cynical behavior. As a result, it can lead to a reduced professional performance. Occupational burnout can also affect social relationships and attitudes, making interactions at home or, or elsewhere difficult. The person who is burnt out goes through a process of social withdrawal and in some cases, they may also be agitated, irritable, and therefore more prone to conflict. General health problems such as headaches, colds, migraines, and fatigue are some of the byproducts of occupational burnout. So, do you think you could be suffering from an occupational burnout? Well, let me assure you that it's more common than you think. Such jobs which naturally experience high levels of burnout include engineers, administrators, doctors, nurses, teachers, physicians, and police officers. One reason why uh, high levels of burnout are found in these professions is partly due to the high stress work environments and emotional demands. It is therefore no surprise that employee stress costs businesses $300 billion per year in absenteeism, reduced uh, productivity, loss of talented employees, health, legal, insurance costs, and programs to reduce stress. And this is just in the US. Imagine how big this number would be globally. So clearly, we're not alone. Now naturally, this makes us wonder, what are the coping strategies? Should we ever find ourselves in a burnout? Well, today I would like to share with you three simple ABC uh, methods by which you can by which you can combat a burnout effectively. <coughs> a. Actively address your problems. Don't be passive. Take a proactive approach to your problems. Don't ponder over problems. Find solutions. Next. Share your condition. There, there is no shame in having a burnout. Speak about it to your family, your close friends and colleagues. Trust me, you'll feel 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> okay, next, and most importantly, learn to say no. This will earn you respect not only from yourself, but also from those around you. You don't have to say yes all the time. Try saying, I'll think about it, or I'll come back to you. This will give you time to assess options and priorities. B. Take a break. Breaks are essential to achieve work-life balance. And breaks can also be taken if, if you know that your job will inevitably lead you to having a burnout. So take some time off and go on a vacation. You can spend that time doing things that you are passionate about, such as reading, journaling, anything that you struggle to find time for otherwise. You can also go on a spiritual getaway, like a pilgrimage, which is always good for one's soul. Shorter breaks can also be taken on a daily basis during your working hours. This will help you break away from the monotonous routine. For example, you could take a 15 minute break every two hours and make yourself a cup of coffee, chat with a colleague, do some meditation or pranama, or you could also uh, do some uh, exercises, stretching exercises. Lastly, cultivate a healthy lifestyle. Firstly, take at least seven hours of sleep every day. Second, try to adjust.
adopt a healthy diet, which is rich in vitamins and minerals. Avoid unhealthy foods such as alcohol and tobacco as much as possible. Next, uh, and of course, remember that your body is a temple for your, for your mind and your soul. And next, and lastly, don't, uh, don't just have a healthy diet without some exercise. Do some moderate exercises along with your diet, and this will make you feel fit, active, and less fatigued. Now, I would like to ask you all a question. Are any of these three steps difficult? Are they impossible to achieve? No. Of course not. By following these three steps, not only will you be able to cope with the occupational burnout, you'll also you'll also uh, you'll also feel better, and it will be it will improve your situation in your work in your workplace, and it will also um, make you uh, happier. So let me say that there is no shame in a job burnout. It can happen to the best of us. So I leave you now with a quote from Epictetus, a Greek philosopher, who said that no man is free who is not master of himself. Man is master.